it's not a scam. But the problem is a lot of insurance salespeople talk about whole life insurance as though it's like the be all and end all solution for every single person on the planet. And the fact of the matter is it's not for everyone and, and nor should it be the solution for everybody. Uh, you know, a lot of the time these, these insurance sales people, what they'll say is they'll say, oh, you know, here's what rich people do. They'll, they'll buy insurance, they'll borrow against it. You can use that as leverage. You can invest, blah, 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 blah. And the problem with that way of thinking is that you know, most people who are who, who they're selling it to are not at that level. Some people are, but most people are not. And so it would be kind of like, uh, it's your first time going to the gym, first time exercising, and somebody like a personal trainer gives you, you know, a workout routine of a professional athlete. Like you're not on that level. Similarly, if you're making, you know, uh, 40, 50, $60,000 a year, your need for a whole life insurance policy with really high premiums and leverage capabilities and all this other kind of stuff, uh, you know, just isn't really there. That being said, whole life insurance can be something that you use for, you know, estate planning purposes, or, you know, there are some, some leverage tactics that you can use and strategies, but, uh, yeah, for the average person, I would say it's, it's not something that, that I would recommend. And, uh, you know, there, there are better things for, there are better things that most people can use.